I would say that patients are now less myopic than they've ever been. There's less of that blinder activity where they go to one doctor, he points them in the next direction. Part of that is the internet, of course. Part of that's marketing. And part of that is just a, a better understanding of how to empower patients. So yes, I think doctors are doing a better job of educating patients. We understand how to communicate with them better. But then comes this new uh, discipline of regenerative medicine, which includes stem cells, genomics, epigenomics, nutrigenomics, platelet-rich plasma, and others, it, where a whole new language is coming in. And so while doctors, myself included, are wrestling a bit with where this exciting uh, new frontier of medicine applies to my discipline, my base discipline, we are also wrestling with how we translate this to, patient, to our patients who are sitting before us. You know, how do you explain to a patient, for instance, that we want to use uh, your nutrition to modify what your genes are trying to express within you? I've spent this past year in a self-directed fellowship, if you will, um, some call it a sabbatical, although I don't think there was nearly enough rest in that period to truly call it a sabbatical. Having gotten my boards taken care of in anti-aging medicine and certifications in skin cancer, stem cells, um, and now I'm working on my certification in nutritional blood analysis or nutritional microscopy. All of that said, it's the most exciting time, I think, in history to be a part of medicine. It's also one of the most uncertain times because where the income is uh, being generated from is a bit of a question mark moving forward. Um, how we exist as doctors in a model where patients truly are being empowered to need us less. And for doctors, um, I guess I can only speak for myself, I found a real freedom and a real power in moving from the mental paradigm of being a doctor to thinking of myself as a healer. Yes, I'm a dentist. Yes, I'm a physician. Yes, I've got advanced anesthesia training and anti-aging medicine training and sleep apnea training. I've really been blessed with a ton of good training. But at the end of the day, my mission is about healing the person who's in front of me. Whether they came through the door thinking that I'm going to help them with a sleep issue or a cosmetic issue or an oral health issue, the many different doors people come to me through, if I put myself on the other side of that table and it's a, in the posture of being a healer, I put myself in a position of maximum potential to help that person live a healthier life.